Pioneer Town is located in San Bernardino County in the Morongo Basin area just north of Yucca Valley. Here are some images reflecting the desert terrain to where the town resides. Although the name implies so, the pioneers of the 19th century did not in fact found the town, but it still conveys a very historical atmosphere. The founders or investors of Pioneer Town were pioneers of the Western film industry in the 1940s, including stars Gene Autry and Roy Rogers. Gene Autry, a well-known actor, singer, and performer from the 1930s, appeared in 94 films and 91 episodes of his TV series, while also putting country music on the map by coining such songs as Back in the Saddle Again, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Here Comes Santa Claus. The filming of Autry and his partners is what put Pioneer Town on the map, with The Gene Autry Show and films such as The Heart of the Rio Grande and Call of the Canyon. Here is a scene from the film Call of the Canyon, shot on Autry's personal home. Autry also used his personal ranch of Pioneer Town to film episodes and scenes of his show. This ranch is now on the market to be sold for $750,000. Roy Rogers, Autry's partner and not to mention famous country music singer and actor, was nicknamed King of the Cowboys. Rogers came to California to be a singer, but had little success until he formed his band, Sons of the Pioneers. Some of their many hits were Cool Water and Tumbling Tumbleweeds. Rogers was married to the Queen of the West, Dale Evans. They were famous for their theme song, Happy Trails. Evans and Rogers filmed scenes from south of Santa Fe in Pioneer Town. Another film known as Rainbow Over Texas was filmed here. Here is a scene of the Sons of the Pioneers conversing around a table. Rogers, like Autry, filmed many episodes of the Roy Rogers Show on the live-in movie set. Although Autry and Rogers were competition to one another, during their prime, they managed to come together to build one of the most used live-in movie sets in California. What I mean by live-in movie set is the buildings that exist there were operable such as the bowling alley. Gene Autry filmed many episodes of his show in the six-lane bowling alley located in the center of town. The alley is one of the oldest in California still running. The construction of the alley was meant for it to be in full use. Company A.E. Thompson began building in 1947. Here is a picture of Roy Rogers himself rolling out the first ball in 1949. During the early years of the alley, young kids were hired as pin setters to reset the pins while the alleys were being used. Automatic pin setting equipment wasn't installed until the 1950s. The rest of the equipment is also still in good use. Little of it has had to be renovated. The interior of the bowling alley reflects the 50s atmosphere of Pioneer Town. The seats and fixtures are warm colors such as orange, red, and white, but there are plenty of seating, very homey furniture such as couches and recliners. The walls are covered in old plaques and newspaper clippings. There are vintage vending machines and jukeboxes giving you cigarettes and music. The equipment is replaced regularly but kept in the same places as the first day it opened. The bowling balls are located on the walls along with the rental shoes and decorative pins. The alley is very welcoming and inviting to any type of party, either family events or adults looking for a different hangout. The warm colors made for very warm pictures, such as this man sitting in the seat in front of a lane. One of the more attractive fixtures within the bowling alley is the mural depicting cowboys branding another man with their political griefs, such as taxes, war debt, and high prices. This bowling alley is a landmark for its historical value within San Bernardino County and will continue to run for years to come. Pappy and Harriet's is one of the most popular buildings still in use within Pioneer Town. This restaurant and bar has been providing good music, dancing, amazing food, and friendly atmosphere since 1982. Pappy and Harriet's was originally a cantina used to film during the 50s being a part of the living moving set set along with the jail and the ice cream parlor. The cantina was known as the Biker Burrito Bar, first purchased by Harriet's mother, Frances Aliba, and her husband, John. The cantina was open and working for 10 years until it closed in 1982. Although the bikers were gone, the family made sure the building stayed in good hands. In 1982, Harriet and her husband, Pappy, opened Pappy and Harriet's Pioneer Town Palace. 
Even though some bikers still remained, Pappy and Harriet's provided a family atmosphere with its good barbecue and Tex-Mex menu, while providing entertainment which also consisted of the family. They had their own band that performed regularly, including Pappy, Harriet, and their granddaughter, Christina. Along with their band, Pappy and Harriet's provides a stage for other acts to come and show their stuff. Here are flyers promoting bands performing, and Pappy and Harriet's including Strangers Family Band, Firebug Tears of the Moose Chaser, Henry Fonda and the Peaches Drones of Death, Evil Beaver, and the Sons of the Lawless. Pappy and Harriet's also provides daytime entertainment by hosting regular events. They use the Fake to host popular garage sales and even a cosmic American road show provided by the Sin City Social Club. Pioneer Town is not only known for its historical movie career, but more for the current entertainment and scenery it provides. Overall, Pioneer Town was then and now a live-in working movie set.